Okay. That looks good. All right. Okay. Good. So, uh, I know you told Mary that this was a very last minute type of deal for you and uh, I guess your first time going to mm -hmm. Togo. Uh, give me your impressions all on the building, the school that had been built there and uh, just what you thought about it. I was pretty impressed with the school to be honest, especially considering that there were still, uh, there was still a mud clay built classroom there that I believe they were still using to some extent and there was also the remnants of one of their clay mud classrooms that had either been taken down or had come down on its own, I'm not sure, but the marked improvement that was seen between what they had before and what the EWB Ole Miss chapter was able to do building the new school was really impressive. Okay. Um, you know, switch, let's switch over to Koku a little bit. I know that this is your first time meeting him. What, mm -hmm. what, what would you think of him when you first saw him? And then, and then I'm going to ask you after that what, what you, how you felt when you, when you were leaving Togo. But talk about when you first saw him. Um, Koku is an impressive guy. I mean, he is a great, great facilitator. You, if Dr. Servek said, you know, this, we need to do this, it was done. You know, it was, we, we have an appointment. This man is coming to see us. You need to go here. We're on our way. You know, everything was... He's on top of it, you know, and um, it seemed like everyone we met, wherever we were, they know Koku. Um, he's, he's very well known and, uh, and clearly very well respected. Okay. I know, uh, you know, Ms. Corny and I talked about him as maybe as a commander, kind of. Talk mm -hmm. about how he does that, how you saw him in his role as a, uh, as kind of a, so I guess a commander, someone who guides, you know, his people almost. I think that the fact that the, the people we dealt with, at least, so clearly respect him, um, probably because he's so such a good commander and, and he has a purpose in mind and I think that his, the people he works with get behind his vision and so it, it makes it easy for him to facilitate things that we can't hardly imagine how, how this all comes together over there. Any questions for Dr. Let's get it. All right. Okay. okay.